Is there anybody here with us right now? Can you give us a name or a... We have this device here in my hand. You can use it to talk to us. So you can kind of imagine... Um, I don't know. This is something out of like your like worst nightmare. Frank. Oh, 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 oh. Go right or left. place called the Yorktown Memorial Hospital here in Texas. This is actually one of the most notoriously haunted places. I've been waiting a long time to do this place. Um, it's very exciting. I'm here with my good friend Jazz. I also obviously have Frank. Frank right now is at the gas station because he's suffering from um, weird indigestion problems from Mexican food that we've had over the past couple of days. <laughs> You tried Chipotle so, for the first time? Yeah, that probably wasn't uh, probably wasn't a good idea. You gotta kind of like work your way up to yeah, yeah. Chipotle. But anyway, so a little bit of history on this place. It was built in the or opened in the 1950s. You did not just hear that. At least it just sounded like tapping on the on the glass. Huh. Interesting. Cool. So, um, as I was saying, uh, the place opened in the 50s, eventually closed down in 89. It, uh, you know, changed several times. It eventually became like a drug and rehab center. Uh, it was originally operated by nuns, by the Catholic Church, uh, priests. There's a lot of really, really crazy stories that you guys are going to hear about this place that we're going to go through as we go along. Um, there's a lot of very um, specific areas that have the craziest hauntings that I've ever heard of in my life. Mm -hmm. Like, very, very unique. Um, but yeah, apparently 2,000 people have died in this building over the years. Um, they don't even really know like how a lot of these people died. Shit just kind of happened. Uh, the reason why it was closed down was because of malpractice. Cause, so you can kind of imagine what the hell was that? Um, I don't know. But it came from down the hallway. Trying to figure out how to use this light. Here you go. Let me show you. Ah, oh, you got a double tap. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I gotta get me one of these. Yeah. <laughs> you do. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. So it begins. Um. Yeah, it's uh, it's like basically like a one floor. There's two wards. The children's ward is down that way. The adult ward is down that way, and then the chapel is actually at the end of the hall. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. That the children's was to the left. And that yeah. makes a lot of sense based off, like, the kids we were hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, we've just been kind of, like, hanging around and... Yeah, sounds are like insane. That. Yeah. Um, apparently it happens a lot. We're trying to, like, debunk a lot of what we're hearing, and we can't figure out... I mean, it is an old, rotting building. Like, look at the ceiling panels, you know? They're... Right? It, could it just be possible that a ceiling panel just fell? What the hell just moved over here? It yeah. seems like something moving. That's not a ceiling panel. It's not windy tonight. No, all. not at all. It was even supposed to rain and it hasn't even rained at all yet, so... Interesting. <sighs> very, very interesting. Just like... Okay. So I do have uh, <laughs> Jazz's phone because I don't have the Skinwalker Talker app yet. I keep forgetting to download it. Skinwalker Talker. <laughs> the name is right there. <laughs> I know, but it's just more fun calling it that. Um, is it running already? You can just press start. Press start. So I guess we'll uh, 
explore around a little bit. This place is creepy as all hell. Mm -hmm. There is one... What the hell's doing that? Somebody down there? They just sound like something was like dragged. Right? Is there anybody here with us right now? Can you give us a name or a... We have this device here in my hand. You can use it to talk to us. Is it uh, Sister Mary Monica? The, the loft. Where's the loft? I don't know. Oh, wouldn't that be like the top part of the chapel? I think so. Yeah. There's kind of like a loft area. Where? Th what the? F was that? Yeah, it sounded like it came from the chapel. A hundred percent, straight down there. Are we doing this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what I'm here for. I expected nothing less. <laughs> All right, we're coming towards the chapel. Oh, just traffic. Yeah. What the hell? Traffic. These hallways are just terrifying. This is something out of like right? your like worst nightmare. Recording. Oh. What did I say? Recording. What it, yeah. Um. Yeah, we're recording. Do you mind? It might be getting offended that we're recording. Yeah. So there's like some pretty bad entities inside of this place. Like it's violent in here. Um, over the years, that this place was abandoned for a long time, and apparently a lot of people used to come in here, and there's certain areas where they performed satanic rituals, like actual offerings. Yeah, like they actually sacrifice. Yeah. Animals probably sacrifice. Probably made this place like even more incredibly haunted yes. than it originally and was. They Bro, it literally sounds like some... Painted eye? What? Jesus? I don't know. Painted eye. Wait, 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 wait. There's something that painted eye just reminded me of. I can't put my finger on it. Um, remember what he said too, though? The owner of the building. He yes. said that when this place was going on, there was a lot of uh, mixed things going on, like... Although they obviously are supporting, it was a Catholic mm -hmm. church at the time, right? Yeah. Um, he also said that they weren't just... Surgery. Okay, that's they, crazy. So apparently they did a lot of botched surgeries. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, hence the reason why most likely a lot of people have died here. I remember what he said that yeah. also they like secretly, there's people in this area that worshipped other things. Mm -hmm. The down below, not the, yeah. you know, up above. And he said, with that, there was a he lot of... He literally called this room hell. Hell, yeah. yeah. Even though it's a chapel. Um, I mean, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. How do we get to the loft exactly? I think I gotta hoister you up there. Maybe. Just throw me. I think the way up there is you have to lay in that casket, Angel. Oh. <laughs> what? what was that? I thought it was in here. Hold on. How do you like... Touch. Touch. Yeah. Are you gonna touch one of us? <coughs> Is that what you're gonna do? I hope not. Oh, I think it's this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, the stairs are awesome. Let's do it. Let's see what's up here in this loft. They pulled this loft, so... Now, let's also hope that we don't find that thing that he was mentioning. Well, yeah. I'm going to mention a little later on what it was. Uh, <laughs> but there is something a little crazy. An eight foot thing. Yeah. An eight foot thing, yes. Oh, there it is. No, I'm <laughs> under that thing. Look at this place, man. Yeah, maybe we should have stand too close to the edge, considering... My arms. My arms. 
my arms. Okay. What about your arms? It's in here. The second floor. Oh, wow. So this was the nun's quarters, I think. I'm not trying to be that guy. Yeah. Nuns scare me. Nuns scare you? Terrify me. Like, what about them? I don't... I think it's just, like, how they're glorified in horror movies. And, like, growing up, like, obviously I'm not, you know, yeah. Christian or Catholic. But, um, what the hell is that? That sounded like a step on, like, water. Yeah, yeah, it did. I mean, there is some dripping water, obviously. But no, that sounded like a footstep. Fully sounded sense. Well, it just did say touch. Touch is a sense. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at this place. What? Wow. I'm looking at right now. This looks like a dungeon. Yeah. Look at, like, oh, look at over Please. Here. This looks like somewhere I'd do a sand. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. This is cool, but really creepy at the same time. Yeah, I'd say. Wow. Look at that ping. See now, that terrifies me. Who is that though? Oh, there's a name, there's a name. I, Henner? Hmm. Wishful thinking? <laughs> That's fine. Memories here. That's Memories true. Here. That is very true. What'd you hear? I really sound like it was from in here. It sounded like that thing almost moved. It's like a little ball. What is it? A little ball. Oh, it's so cool. Angela? Yeah? What? That door. What, what about it? It was open when it came in. You didn't close it? How would I? I'm holding the camera with two hands. Oh yeah, that's true. Friend. What did it say? Frank. Oh! What? What, <laughs> what about Frank? <coughs> He's not here right now, but... He's gonna take a poop and uh, he'll be back any minute now. Well, he, That's remember, so he says he's dealing with a possession as well. And they might not be very fond of that. They might be warning us, like, not bring Frank in maybe, here. Yeah, maybe they don't like the fact that he's. Yeah, here. bro, look at this door. Was going to be here, was here. Oh, yeah. Doesn't know. It's weird. That's fascinating. Yeah. Crime. Crime. I'd have to agree with that. Oh, hey, Angelo. I'm getting a really weird feeling right now about that chair. I literally feel as if something's sitting there right now. Maybe. Is anybody sitting in that chair? Do you have a name? What the heck? Knock, knock, knock. How's a knock? Three of them. Almost as if it was a like confirmation. Who is sitting in that chair right now? This is really weird. Oh, what a creepy ass bed in here. Check this out. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Yo. Just how, the fact that it's like still in here? How many likes for Angela to do a sleeping? Assault. Did someone get assaulted in this room? Bro, look. Did. Yes, because look at that door. Did. Look at that door. Do you remember the story that he said? I just remembered that. So he said, not one, but three of the nuns that lived here and worked here were, I don't want to use the R word, but we'll use the R word, and they were, I think two or three of them were actually impregnated here and By the they had to do, they did abortions on them and then like threw the fetuses into, into the incinerator, which yeah. is so 
fucked up. Yeah, this place is messed up. You can trust us. Okay, well that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, hopefully it's not like a... Can Frank trust you guys? <laughs> yeah, I can, can my friend Frank trust you guys? He's gonna be back in a minute now. I still wanna know who's in this chair, man. I'm telling you, I, I feel like I have a... Like my stomach is crunching right now. Like, yeah. at the thought of it. So anybody in this room with us? Anybody want to talk to us? No, someone's here, bro. I'm telling you someone's in that chair right now. What's your name? Can you tell us your name, please? Please tell me what your name is. Pay attention. To what? I don't know. Okay. I kind of want to see the uh, the children's ward. I don't know why. That's something. That was the front door. Maybe Frank's back? Maybe Frank. I mean, it's bolted shut. Yeah. You won't be able to open I almost just here. peed myself, bro. No joke. And the shitty thing is, I have to pee right now, too. Yeah, me too. Like, I just drank a whole, like, extra large coffee. And you just drank, like, 14 monsters, so. Yeah, I'm on, like, a caffeine high right now. Alright, spirits, we're coming back down. Uh, feeling. Feeling. What the hell is that? Something at that door, man. Well, yeah, the gas station's far, bro. Yeah. It's a couple blocks. Yeah. There's like, there's only one like 24-hour one, so it's gonna take a bit of a walk. After. Okay. I'm gonna close this and lock yeah, it again. Yeah, it literally sounded like somebody knocked at the door. Yeah. It sounded like. Yeah. yeah help you with that. It's a little bit of a. We're gonna come towards the uh, children ward and hang out with you for a bit, if you don't mind. Feel free to uh, join us, I guess. Oh. You literally just said all. Yeah, that, <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, that app is so dude, intelligent. It's so good. I've, not, I've used apps before, but that yeah. one is so accurate. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, the obelisk. Yes. Very accurate. Very cheap obelisk. That old kid's pen, bro. Yeah. Look at this little... <laughs> wow. This is, uh, really weird vibes. Yeah. What is it? A little shoe or something. It's like a sock. It's this really old and dirty. That was him. Oh my god! Who? It's just a closet. Who's in the closet?
Oh, it's getting so cold right now, bro. I don't know if that's a good sign or... Well, so far we know this place is uh, no joke. That's for sure. That. Wow, it smells so good in here. Oh, yeah. It actually, like, it actually smells like... Like modern, like... Yeah. Rooms, yeah. Not, you know, old and moldy like right. everywhere else. Go right. Okay. Okay, we will. You got Thanks it. Thanks for that. Are we, uh... Oh my gosh. What? Oh my uh, god. What is this? That? Go right. Oh my or left. Bro? Angelo? Yeah. Look at this wall. Oh, come on. Why are they gonna do this to us? That almost looks wet. Bro, why does it look wet? That is wet. Yeah. I'm like inclined to touch it, but at the same time, I don't know what. If it's it blood, is. God forbid, like you know. Yeah. Orb. Orb. Okay. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, it's the cat's <laughs> you know, Is For some reason, I have this weird thing when I go to abandoned places. So you're fascinated by bathrooms. bathrooms. Oh my god. And for me, like cafeterias are pretty cool. I don't no, know. No, this is this is pretty this is like a close second. Yeah, this is neat. All this stuff. Look at that massive hat. I know. Is that a hat? <laughs> no, it's a basket. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a massive cow. It does though. I, th I literally thought the same thing. <laughs> like some kind of weird like thing that they yeah. said. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. Toys. The kids' room. The kids' room. Do you want us to come back to the toys? Remember, it kept. It said, "Go right." Yeah. Bro, look at this. This is amazing. Look at these doors. Are these the freezers? Have to be. Yeah. What's in there? Just a bunch of storage. Definitely the freezer. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff left behind in here. I assume like probably most of it's original. Most of it's yeah, oh, hundred percent. Contact. Contact. Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of it. Yeah, we're. Uh, that's what we're here for. Did I go outside? Yeah. Hmm. Seasoning. Yeah, so cool. Dude, it's honestly one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Look at this room. This is only the beginning. Bro, look at the. Who is that? Are you trying to make contact with us? Angela, look at the tablecloth in here. Oh, hell? Is this where uh, it happened? This was my home. Oh my god. I'm freaking out right now, bro. I'm trying to keep my composure. Oh my god. What's down here? Oh wow, look at that. Surgery room? Oh. Bro, labor room. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so. Uh, that's the delivery room. Fine, yeah. Clean up and then sterilizing. So, oh look, Angelo, you would put your feet in here. Yeah, it's, they're called stirrups. Oh cool. Abraham. Abraham. That. Hey Abraham, creepy. are you a kid here? Think you worked here? Oh, something in there? What is that? I don't know. I almost don't want to find out. Play all like, like it looks like glass. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure. You never know places like this. 
whatever's in there is uh... still in there. <laughs> Can I get a look? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I don't know what that is though. Here. Here. Like here. Is Abraham here? Oh, no, here. Here, like, like, listen. Oh, so here. let's listen. Let's listen for a sec. Go dead quiet. We were just um, planning on doing like a nice like little tour and yeah, this ended up being uh, Yeah, I thought we were gonna have a nice calm night, but um We were warned. <laughs> Multiple times. When we first got here. He called us crazy. Yeah, he literally we're like, how many people are you? We're like Connie. three? And he's like, Connie, there's another name. It's just been nothing but names, names tonight. Yeah, That's it's of them. Yeah, very, very active. So um yeah, we'll probably do a whole bunch of stuff together, and then we'll also do a lot of, you know, moments where we split off. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely smash that like button, and, uh, of course, go, I didn't even get to say, like, you know, go follow Jazz, too, if you're not following him, of course. Um, yeah, I definitely have to call Frank to see where the hell he is, because he's taking a while, but, yeah. All right, so it begins. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do yeah, this. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, do you want to maybe inform Frank a little bit about what happened yeah, you know, <laughs> while he was... Apparently, uh, I missed a whole lot here. Yeah, so like, he was off taking what, a poop what and... Uh, like, what You said crazy experiences. I'm just so curious now. Like, what's happened? Well, it said your name, for one. Yeah. What, what said, said my name? Said Frank's name. Yeah, the spirit, it lit the spirit Talker app actually Great. said your name. Um, Go figure. And then the last thing the Spirit Box app said... <laughs> Was he's going to get you? Yeah. Oh. Well, so we don't know if it was so like talking about. Should I about... leave? <laughs> <laughs> I, get out of here now, I don't know, like... but and it said something else too. After we had stopped recording, it said something, and yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember specifically what it was, but it was a little bit very violent, malicious sounding. Yes. Yeah. So I guess we'll go to the basement. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one thing that we're really scared of. Um, when we were doing the tour, <laughs> the owner said that there's an eight foot long snake in the basement. Fun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so, grab the knife. Okay. Yeah, okay. grab the knife. <laughs> Probably for the best. Here we go. I mean, even the owner told me to carry the knife, so. Yeah. He did mention that it was on the stairs once. Yeah. Like, just sprawled out yeah, along. Yeah, he said it covered the entire stairs. Yeah. yeah. So, let's, uh, I so mean, it, it's it, not poisonous. It could be anywhere. What kind of snake did he say it was? I don't remember. Something with an eye, I think. It's not poisonous, that's all we know. As far as we know. Whoa. Wow. Holy crap. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is this the incinerator room? I don't know. Well, there'd be an incinerator. I don't think so, sure, no. Sure. Well, the reason I asked that is because of the story the owner told us about the incinerator. So this is um, very, very dark, so I'm going to put a massive trigger one here, uh, NSFW, it, it's pretty bad. Anybody want to explain what the heck this thing is? What's that? Uh, looks like a pig. Oh, that's you know that's normally satanic when you so, have pig heads. Yeah. There were <sighs> yeah, I don't know what all this stuff is doing down here. It's an electrical... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're probably just storing it here yeah. for some odd reason. Looks really old though, so. I doubt they'll use them ever again. Yeah, so apparently there's an incinerator room somewhere down here. There's a room where they did satanic rituals, which I believe is there as well. At some point in time, that's what they did. Careful, the snake, the snake might be in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, nothing interesting. Nope, just plastic. Okay. Oh, what's in there? Oh, I just got chains. That probably goes outside. Uh, oh, kind of. Dude, this is, another... this is the incinerator room. This is the incinerator room. Yeah, so we are currently standing in the incinerator room. This is where people were yeah. burned. 
burnt. And there was also a uh, story of somebody being murdered in here too. Um, so he was telling us a story of, there was a couple, they both actually worked here in the hospital and uh, apparently she was fooling around with another man somewhere either in here. Um, I don't remember where he said. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, basically she was fooling around with another guy down here somewhere and her husband came in, essentially walked in on them and caught her, you know, in the middle of the act and basically stabbed the dude to death. Apparently there's a blood splatter somewhere, so I will look for that to see if we can find it, um, but apparently it's still here after all these years. So this is kind of like one of the crazy stories in this And he place. killed himself. He after, killed himself after? Okay. After he killed so both the up. lover and, yeah, the, he that's, killed himself apparently. That's messed up. Okay. Yeah. where the priest would store his wine and oh that's there's bottles still in here dude. odd yeah are they actually sealed bottles oh, i guess the wine from oh look at that it might be a sealed champagne bottle uh, maybe that's crazy we should get in there see the dates <laughs> <laughs> we've got some aged stuff here nothing Not in sealed, it no i think all the, any of the ones that probably would have been sealed are all probably stolen by now yeah. Oh look, they had Venom Energy back in the, uh, <laughs> the 80s, apparently. That's interesting. Yeah. Where would you want to set up the uh, session, bro? I don't know yet. Um, okay, so apparently the incinerator is back there. Okay. I'm trying to find the area where, do um, you remember when he mentioned yes. that the husband and the wife thing? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you mentioned that yet in your no, video. I but I'm actually it. looking for the, the blood stain. It's somewhere around here, the blood splatter, I don't know. Check that one over there. That was like a little Gucci gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was this like a torture cellar in here? What was that noise? Creepy. I think they said the boiler room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said the boiler room. Which might have been this. Oh my god. I just touched my leg. What the hell? Something literally just touched my leg. Like poked at it. Like it was like a jab. Well, is this the boiler room or? There is a furnace type of thing in here. It might be. Must be the boiler room. Uh, yeah, because I'm seeing pipes here. Yeah, it's a little hard to. I would imagine the boiler is gone. Probably, yeah. Like this would probably be connected to the boiler here to run the hot water through the through the system. That's your pump. Yeah. It's just water hitting that thing. Okay. Well, that one's debunked. Look at how old this electrical system is. Yeah. Giant fuses. It's a little, uh, little dated. Needs a little bit of uh, a remodel. There. <coughs> Can't really tell. It's not down there. No. Okay, well, we're looking for a boiler room, I think. I'm pretty sure you said a boiler room. Yeah. You said the blood splatters are pretty, like, prominent. Like, you can really see it, so... Ooh. The heck happened in there? Where's that, though? I don't know, this looks like storage. Holy crap. Stuff 
Yeah. It doesn't look like a boiler room. It smells more like a maintenance room. Old flowers here. Hmm. Then this just goes upstairs. Alright. Just gonna take a quick look down here. Apparently it's uh, a little less exciting in this area. There's just some random seats there. Oh, look at this. This whole freaking wall is just like in the middle of collapsing. Yo. What? You found what? Oh, you found it? Okay, so apparently Jazz found it. Uh, we'll go take a look at that. Man, the basement's actually quite large. <laughs> it's uh, it's very deceiving how big this place actually is. It's quite impressive. All right, let's head over to where they are. Yeah, I'm coming. So we're still looking for this uh, spot, but there is a prison cell down here. Whoa, that's wild. You got this giant safe as well. That's so cool. There's like more rooms back here. It's a prison cell. It's probably the, the like the drunk tank, basically, yeah. old school style. It reminds me of another prison that I did actually called uh, Lavaki County Jail, also in Texas. Okay. Very haunted. Um, the whole jail was built like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it wasn't just one wow. single cell. It was like the entire prison. That was actually pretty cool. There's a bunch more rooms back here. More stuff. Currently, we're just kind of taking a little bit, bit of a break from ghost hunting. We weren't hearing anything for a little while. It kind of... Slow down a little, um, but yeah, just kind of felt like seeing what else might be down here. What the heck? There's a whole freaking bedroom over here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. These rooms just keep appearing. Oh wow. Oh. And maybe this is it. This is it. No, I don't know. It has to be. I can't tell. Because they said the lovers. They were. <laughs> Excuse my language, but yeah, look, there's a bunch of clothes over there too. Just chilling there. Might be it. Yeah, but it would have been like in the boiler room, maybe. Well, this looks like dude, this might be it. This is blood. I'm That's real sure. blood. It's all brown and coagulated. Not sure. Not sure. Because he said that he came down in the story, mm -hmm. and he found them. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Doing the do. I mean, I'd imagine this would be the bed. Possibly. Let's see if there's anything else that uh, we're missing down here. Bro, you, did you see any of this? Where the hell did this all come from? I don't know. We found a... Hey, Jess. What's up? We found a bed with blood on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's which back here. Makes more sense of the yeah, story. Yeah, go check it out. Oh, because the affair, huh? Mm -hmm. The affair, and... Alright, so we just received a photo of where the blood is on the wall. It's here in this boiler room, and yet that's it right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can actually see it. Yeah. So that's why it was harder to like notice. It's yeah, it's like, look at that. It's like a huge Spot splash. Yeah. So we're standing that's right crazy. where three people died. Two of them brutally murdered. Yeah. And one suicide. And one suicide. So, so do, you, uh, do you want to start off with a spirit box session here? Or we over? can, yeah. We can set up the uh, spirit box here and REM, uh, pod. REM pod. Cool, let's do uh, it. Maybe some cat balls and see if we can get some activity. Let's do it. Angela just turned the REM pod on and we're already getting... Look at that. I'm trying to get some cat balls as well. I'm going to fire up the uh, spirit box session. Oh, we got a few things going on. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Did the camel stop? Did it start again? No, no, it, it was just going. It was going yeah. I'm gonna turn down the lights a little bit so we can see more. Uh... Yeah. This is nuts. Whoa. Alright, 
Spear block session is rolling. Whoa. Has it ever done that? Yeah. A couple of times. Very rare. Very rare. Okay. Who's in this room with us right now? Were the spirits of the people who were that, murdered that here? That it's not malfunction. <laughs> yeah. The, the red light? Stopped. Yeah. Well, the fact that it's completely reset now is, uh, is a good sign to put one more down there. That's crazy because that didn't even go off by that. Yeah. So like, you know something's really close to that. Jesus. Whoa. Jesus. Whoa. Oh, and then it went off again. Jesus. What? Oh my God. Well, uh... Interesting so far. I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless right now. Like Jesus, what? Unfortunately, we don't know their names. Can you tell yeah, us your know. names? What was that? Was that you making a... Oh. And it's pointing that way. It's pointing that way. That direction. Hey Jazz, can you lower the light on your camera just a touch so that we can get a better visual when things light up? It's someone else. Ooh. Ooh. It's someone else. So who is it? We asked if it was the people who were murdered, so if it's not them, who's with us? That has not stopped. Like it's blinking right now in red. It's been going crazy. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, can you make a noise of some sort or maybe even touch us physically to let us know that you're here with us right now? I just thought of something. I just thought it was something wrong. Remember when I asked if it was the people who were murdered here? Mm -hmm. Isn't it like in the religion, if you kill yourself, you go to hell, right? You don't go to heaven. Or, uh, Thank you for talking. You're welcome. Thank you for talking to us. Pur purgatory, I believe. It's stuck in purgatory, essentially. Oh. So, am I right? Whoa. Am I right? Whoa. Whoa. That's wild. As soon so as we said purgatory. What's crazy is that's actual REM. And a temperature change at the same, at the same time. time. So Something strong is with us right now. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. It's just stopping now. That's with the temperature change, but there was a whole lot of REM. Okay, well, can you make it stop Candle. now? Candle. Can Dude. you stop that? It's never done that before. It's like... S Can you please stop that? What the hell? I'm sorry guys. This might not be the most appealing thing to hear, but... Yeah. Okay, well there you go. Thank you. What did that thing say? Candle? Candle. That's interesting. Should we like light a candle and see if it goes out? I don't have any. <laughs> it was What's your name? So introduce ourselves. Maybe it really wants to talk to us. Remember, it said thanks for speaking with us. Yeah. So I'll go. I'll start. My name is Yasko. I'm joined with my friends, Angelo and Frank. Um, very nice to meet you. Very nice to uh, be in your presence. It's, it's an honor. If you'd like to come forward and give us some more information about who you are, we would really appreciate it. Um, we know that there's many people in this area, but we're trying to contact with people who are in this room specifically, maybe stuck in this room or. You know, prefer. Can you feel me? That's wild. That's what? Can you? That's crazy. I don't know about you guys, but it's really, really cold here all of a sudden. Really? Yeah. Like frigid where I'm standing, and it's warm outside, guys. It's it was 20 degrees. Um, we do have these three other items here on the ground. Um, they will light up if you touch them. Yeah, Maybe for example. Can... Just like that. Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt. What? Wyatt. A name. W-Y-A-T-T. Wyatt. Can you tell us who you are, Wyatt? <coughs> Wyatt. 
Wyatt, were you murdered down here? Or are we talking to the one who did the murdering? It's Granddad. Whoa. It's Granddad. Granddad. And then that's going off right after. Wait. When, when we asked what the sounds were, is that Granddad making the sounds over there? Is that Granddad in the back there? Keep this running. I'm going to go take a look. Oh. I'll be right back. Granddad, you got him? Can you make one of these go off as well? Why? We would very much appreciate it. Right here, we'll try this one. Can you make this go off? Fine. Oh. What did I say? Say fine or fine? Bone. Bone? Yeah, it said bone. Bone. Okay. What was that? Why? Yeah, I forgot how it's kind of illuminating. This is a blood tracker, by the way. Oh, let me, like, uh, I can turn down the... Why is it? It's like let me see if I turn this down. What the heck is going on with this? It's like changing on its own. Yeah, it actually makes it a lot more noticeable. You can see it a lot yeah. more now. Whose blood is on this wall? Can you tell us? Anything else? No, I forgot this uh, flashlight has a blood tracker, so it kind of makes it a little more visible. It illuminates it a little bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you gotta lower your light to be able to see it better. So just... Oh, yeah, you can definitely yeah, see it a lot more. Uh, bro. Yeah. Charles. Charles? Charles. Charles, is this your blood on the wall? If so, give us a sign. Maybe turn off this flashlight. I don't know what's going on with that. It keeps switching on something. Should I phone? I'm sorry for what happened to you guys. Uh, you that was an instant reply. That was almost like a thank you or maybe. <laughs> the lights. What about the lights? The yeah, that's right. Did you want me to shut off the camera light? You know what? Yeah, let's go lights out. We're all lights out? This light on and on. Red right now. Yeah, that's fine. Just so we can have something. Were our lights bothering you? What the heck? Was that a yes? That was like a yes. Dude. Yes. Stuart. Stuart? It's really weird because this REM pod has never done this before. Like this sudden, like. It's almost like it's sending us like Morse code. So yeah. Everybody knows Morse code. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Right? Whoa. Yeah, it's like Morse code. Are you sending us Morse code? Look. Look, 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 look. Fuck, I think I just heard something on the other side. I do apologize that it's kind of noisy. I Eleven. Get it, but cool. eleven. Yeah. Is that how old you were? Oh. Is that yes, maybe? I don't know. Did 
I've never seen the rim button do this. I know. You want to try resetting it and seeing if it still does that? Yeah. Just, just like for confirmation. Yeah. Sorry for the guys at home with the uh, earphones, but. Headphone warning. Yeah. It's a little late for that. Yeah. Put that in the disclaimer. I'm giving you full permission to touch me right now. Use your strength, use your energy, and touch me or my friends right now. You are given full permission. Feel free to grab Frank's booty. We, we know you clearly know who he is already. Mm -hmm. Well, someone in here does. Somebody it. knows. I wonder if my friend has followed me from home. That's a possibility. Are you here? Lies. Ooh. Lies? Hmm. Okay, that was a quick response. Yeah. So I guess it's not that. I guess he's not here. Or it. I'm actually satisfied with that answer. <clears throat> yeah, the run thought is completely quiet now. Can you make it go off how you were doing it earlier? Can you do that again for us? Use your energy, come forward. Maybe they've moved on? Maybe. I just got a lot of responses already. Yeah, we did. It's just so crazy, these are the blood splatter. How about this question? Whose blood is this? Well, when I asked that, it said Charles. Charles? Everett. Oh, there you go, just got another name. Charles and Everett. Huh. Well, remember, it was more than one person's blood. And that was almost instant. Yeah. That's an interesting name. Everett, are you here with us? It's interesting how here, when we ask for names, it's like direct. Yeah, it's like weird. Within a second. I mean, we're talking 2,000 possible. Here, you want to turn that light on, Frank? Yep. Um, well, thank you so much for communicating with us. We're going to go investigate the rest of the building. So please feel free to communicate with us for the rest of the night. Um, we're going to be using equipment like this throughout the night. And um, yeah, once again, thank you, uh, Everett, Charles, Wyatt, everybody. Feel free to come join us anywhere else in the building. Doorway. Like I said, maybe they, they're moving on. That's why they went towards the doorway? I mean, it would make sense, right? I suppose, yeah. Or maybe they're trying to guide us to maybe. somewhere else? They're waiting for us to go with them. I'm going to keep this rolling. I'm going to head back upstairs. Huh? Yeah. Let's do this. This is getting wild. Wild stuff. This is getting crazy. Yeah. Actually, it's been crazy from what you guys said earlier, so... Where do you want us to go next? You said doorway, where, where to next? All right guys, so uh, we're gonna move on somewhere else. There's uh, several areas here that... Uh, right? Yeah. Huh? I said, where do you want me to go next? It said pregnant. Does it want us to go to the incinerator? That would have been upstairs because the, the pregnant nuns were upstairs. Remember the priest? The second floor. Yeah, well they also, but they put the... You know, the fetus is in the incinerator. Uh, you could, it's a double option, Maybe really. Maybe we can go upstairs first and then come back yeah, down to the incinerator. Let's see why not.